This is uh John Ringer's quote on uh the hit on Carson Wentz. Uh, so when you go back and you look at the play, it's really close. Ringer said Carson's elbow is still off the ground as Clowney arm. The first thing that contacts is Wentz arm. Wentz, Wentz is Clowney's arm to his hip and lower back area, and then his shoulder rolls in, and then his helmet goes in. I don't know what y'all seen. I don't know what he seen. I know for a fact this is a bunch of bull crap. And he should be ashamed of himself, being an ex-ego and all that. Come on, man. You got to come better than that. You see he led with his head. He didn't even put his arms out. That's a bunch of bull crap, man. Let's look at this hit, man. I don't mean to keep bringing it up, but darn. Like, where in the world does he see that this is not an illegal hit, man? First of all, he ducks his arms. He's not trying to make a tackle. He's not trying to go after his legs. And he makes head-to-head -head collision. Even about a rule, even if it's accidental that he make head to head, it's still a flag. It still this would be a flag. See, I'm not I'm not mad about that there wasn't a flag because it'll still be 15, 15 yards and we still don't got Carson. My thing is this you can't continue to let this guy do things like this. You just can't, man. This is a dirty play by a dirty player. Period. Yo, that what's going on? It's your boy Fully Fresh, aka the General here, reporting for duty, man. Uh, thanks to everybody that's watching this video. If you're not subscribed, I want you to hit that subscribe button. You know, if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. I want you to, uh, you know, like this video. That way, if you like the, the more people that like this video, I get pushed out there. I mean, it's a lot of things I'm trying to do on this channel, but I need y'all to, you know, just. Just twiddle your fingers a little bit, man, for me. You know what I mean? Hit that like, comment, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all like and what y'all don't like, man. Uh, I take all criticism. But a couple things I want to talk about before I get into this video, right? Uh, I'm sitting there minding my own business. I'm listening to the radio, right? And John Runyon comes on WIP, right? And you sit there, first of all, John Ryan, if y'all don't know who he is, he used to be a lineman for us back in the uh in the uh in the Andy Reid days. Um was a good lineman, dirty player. Uh beat you up, beat you up kind of lineman. Uh did did all sorts of things that was kind of dirty. So for him to be the VP of policies and rule administration is mind-boggling to me. I guess they know that he knows everything that's dirty. So, all right, you be our man. But the reason that I'm talking about this guy right now, because he comes on the radio and you says that that wasn't a dirty hit. And you're sitting there and, and, and you double down and you say that it's a reason why Javion Clowney didn't get, didn't get fined. I'm really not feeling that because let me tell you something. He said he, he said he was going for the tackle. Let me tell you something. If you're going for a tackle, you don't go for a tackle without your arms out. If you're making a tackle, you're going there with your arms out. He deliberately made that hit. Now, I just wanted to say that I don't, I don't want to keep this going, but this is freshly, this freshly just happened. So I just wanted to make that known. We're not the Saints. We're not going to cry about it. It is what it is. The uh, season's over. Um, I thought as though the season is over because of a dirty hit, but I just wanted to make that known, man. You know, like I said, we're not going to cry over spilled milk. Now, what this video is about today is, it's not really about the Eagles, man. I know that's what I talk about. That's what I pride my video on. But it's about, I want to know, as Eagles fans, how we feel about Andy Reid. Do we want him to succeed? Or do we want him to lose? Because I, the vibe that I'm getting is kind of 50-50 from people. A lot of people want... Andy Reid to succeed because they feel as though him winning the Super Bowl will put him in the Hall of Fame. And I, I really don't think so. I think even if he win, win or doesn't win, I think he'd still be in the Hall of Fame. But a lot of people think that him being in the Hall of Fame, I mean, him winning the Super Bowl will put him automatically in the Hall of Fame. I do think so, but I think he can get in without that. So 
Let's talk about Andy Reid's career as a Philadelphia Eagles head coach, right? 14 seasons. Nine win seasons. Nine playoffs. I'm sorry. Nine playoffs. It's not bad, right? Uh, four NFC championship appearances. It's not bad. One Super Bowl appearance. And who knows? Who knows, man? If, uh, because around that time, the Patriots was doing the Spygate thing. If around that time, who knows if we win or not without the cheating, man? So we got that. These are some pros that. Um, um, these are some pros that I want us as Eagles fans to consi consider consider when you comment on this video. Let me know if y'all for or against Andy Reid. Um, the most wins in franchise history. Not bad. Uh, here's the main thing I think we need to, as, as a Philly fan base, I really think that we need to take in consideration when we're talking about Andy Reid. If it wasn't for Andy Reid, we would not have Doug Peterson. So even though Andy Reid lost a lot of games, and I'm going to get into that, even though Andy Reid did a lot of bad things in Philadelphia, he did bring Doug Peterson here. He brought Doug Peterson here, so he is a part of the championship, if you like it or not. He is the reason why, he is one of the reasons why we have a championship, because without Doug, there's no championship. Because we'd have picked up Matt, uh, we'd have picked up uh, Bob McAdoo or some old stupid behind coach like that, and you see what them dudes is at. I think the time at the time that Doug got hired, I think he's the only one still with a job. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, now let's get into the cons about Andy Reid. Hey, it's, that light shining out there. Don't get it messed up though. It is cold. It's Wendy Williams outside. So. Don't let that sun fool you. If you in the house and you ain't got no reason to be outside, stay your behind in the house. Um, back to these cons. Bad clock management. Bad clock management. I mean, it's plenty of games that we sh that we should have won that he didn't take timeouts. He didn't um, run the ball. Right? He didn't run the ball. He... And it happened in big games too, man. It happened in the uh in the uh, uh NFC championship against the Cardinals. It happened a couple times. Mismanagement at halftime. Um mis mismanagement at halftime before the clock, letting the clock run out, not utilizing, not utilizing the extra things that you have, like timeouts. So we got the pros and we got the cons against Andy Reid, man. I feel as though he was a good coach for us. Um, a lot happened in his life, being here with, his son, with the death of his son, a, a lot of things. Um, I do feel as though, me personally, I would like to see Andy Reid win a championship, especially after we already won one. So it don't, it don't, it really don't, it don't hurt me, but it don't, it don't help me neither. So I'm saying it's not like I'm be jumping for joy for Andy Reid to win a Super Bowl, but I would like him to win one. So I just wanted to know what y'all thought about that. Um, comment below. Let me know what y'all think about that. And I usually don't do this, but being as though it's no more Eagles football, I'm going to get my um my conference championship picks. Uh for the AFC. We got the K we got the Kansas City Chiefs versus uh the Tennessee Titans. I want so bad to pick the Titans because it just seems like it's their year. It just seems like they're going to be the New York Giants in 07. To be an underdog in every game, to go go to do to, just to go to dudes homes and just terrorize them, terrorize them. But it's something telling me, man, this dude Patrick Mahomes is on a whole nother level. It's something telling me that the speed of the Kansas City Chiefs cannot be denied, man. They went down twenty four to nothing last week, and still ended up winning by thirty one points. I don't know. In my lifetime, I had never seen that before, especially in a playoff game. I never seen nothing like it. It's it, it's a difference to overcome a twenty four point deficit and you win by three points, but to win by thirty one points, that just doesn't happen, man. Um, I gotta go with Kansas City. I gotta go with Kansas City, man. I really want to pick the Titans. I do because I don't feel as though they can stop Derrick Henry. But we gotta remember 
that they won them games because of turnovers. And Kansas City really doesn't turn the ball over like that. So I got to go with Kansas City, man. I don't feel as though their cornerbacks, their defense can just stick with Travis Kelsey. He's going, he's going to be the MVP of this game. Watch and see. Now, let's get to the NFC, man. Green Bay is going to the 49ers territory. I think Aaron Rodgers pulls it out. I think Aaron Rodgers pulls it out. I think being as though Jimmy G is, I don't want to say a rookie, but he's rookie-ish. Um, I feel as though he's the weakest link on that team. And for you, your quarterback can't be the weakest link on your team. For you to uh be a Super Bowl, for you to be a Super Bowl winner or contender. Now their defense is all world. Their defense is all world, but they can get points put up on them. New Orleans put points up on them. Um, a lot of dudes put points up on these dudes, but if they can protect Aaron Rodgers, see they're kind of built like us. They got better corners than us. They got Richard Sherman, but they're kind of built like we was in 2017. Their front line, talking about the 49ers, their front line is all world, man. This dude, Joey Bosa, is a problem. He's a whole problem. So, you got that, but Aaron Rodgers is a special kind of, he's a special kind of quarterback. He really didn't show it last game, but when it was time to make throws, he made them throws. And I'm not convinced that Jimmy G can make them kind of throws. See what I'm saying? I'm not convinced that Jimmy G can make them kind of throws. So, I'm going to have to go with the better quarterback in this one, man. I got to go with the better quarterback. I'm going basically going with the better quarterback in both of them, with Kansas City also. But I'm going to tell you what about Kansas City real fast. You can't go down 24 to nothing to the Titans. You better not because you're done. Stick a fork in you. You better not go down 24, 24 donut to these dudes because they will run you out of your own stadium. But back to the NFC, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with the um, – I'm going to have to go with the 49ers, man. I mean, I'm going to have to go with uh, 49ers taking the L, should I say. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, I just feel as though he's too gifted. So, in the Super Bowl, I get my Super Bowl picks after to see who wins. But I feel as though we're going to have a state foreign Super Bowl. Uh, but y'all know what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Make sure, you know, y'all get this video out there, man. I got a lot of things that I'm trying to do. But I need to grow this page, man. Uh, logo coming. Logo coming, all type of things, uh, all type of things is due, man. All type of things is coming, man. Just make sure, uh, you know, y'all hit the like, hit the subscribe, man. Get me out there, man. Y'all know what it is. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all.